Um, this is going to be <laughs> maybe a video about me finding morel mushrooms. I've gotten up at the crack of dam and um, come back out to the woods to my secret grove of morels and hoping no one has been to it yet. We'll find out, won't we? It's really tempting to sort of pan around, but um, the place where I go is about a mile and a half in, and it's best to just follow the trail and then start looking once you get off of it. Um, otherwise your eyes can get kind of tired and uh, you don't typically find anything along here anyway because other people are wandering around and have probably picked them already if there were any. See all these flowers? When the sun comes up, they'll lift their heads up. But it's still early in the morning here and they're all, they're all just snoozing. We'll check on them when we come back. This might be the last week really for the Dutchman's breeches to be in bloom. But, uh, they're funny, aren't they? And they're like little strings of undies out on the line left to dry. Great little flower. Okay, this is another good sign. This is a May apple. See, it's got two hands coming out of stock. And this is the budding blossom. But, yeah, when they're about this size, that's a good sign for morels. Hello, Mr. Snail. Um, have you seen any morels? At all? Maybe? Hello? Some of the inhabitants in the forest will be rude and will not speak to you. That's another thing to keep in mind. It's kind of bastard cold out here this morning, uh, which makes me worry about our chances, but soil temps have been about right. 53 degrees is when they say you can start looking, but if the soil has a lot of clay in it, it'll take longer to warm up. There's a lot of clay on these hills. Um, another thing is that uh, where we're going, my spot, has a lot of sand mixed into the soil, so it warms up a bit faster than the other parts of these hills. And um, so the, the mushrooms tend to pop sooner, but we'll see. Here, here's another little tip. See the sign, you know, no hunting. If you are stopped by an officer of the Warren County Conservation Board, what you tell them is that you're mushroom foraging not hunting and that should get you off the hook that should make it okay they'll let you go but if you tell them you're mushroom hunting you're in trouble okay a little tip there okay see here see this i mean that's just that is straight up sand mixed in with the clay so see what i'm talking about it'll warm up faster and you should get mushrooms popping uh, these are the mounds um, I, I think they're Havana Hopewell mounds, uh, burial mounds, and um, the, uh, the lens on this is probably flatten, flattening them out a bit, but uh, I mean your own eye will flatten them out a bit. They're not very pronounced really, um, but they're quite interesting, and, um, and yeah, they are, they are the real thing. And the pet cemetery is just over. Observe what I've done here. Um, I've tucked my my these trousers into my socks. Why? Because there are ticks in these woods. I've also tucked in my shirt here. Okay. Because no one needs a tick on their balls. Okay. Now I've never I've never had that happened before but I want you to pause I really want you to pause and think about that how unpleasant that would be to have a tick 
on your balls. Okay, we've wandered off of the main trail now, and we're coming up on a deer trail. And we just follow this for a ways. It's quite nice, isn't it? So here we are. This is where I usually come. You see there's a lot of fallen trees. And if we come down here, pay very close attention, we find one of these. There aren't a lot here, but look, there's another one. Would you look at that? So this is how, this is what I do. I say hello. Look how little these are. These are tiny ones. But they'll taste good. I say hello. Um, get ready to be eaten. <laughs> Such a dork. And just in terms of how tricky these are to see. See there's this one here. And then I just looked over. There's one here. They um you really got to use your eyes out here to find these little things. Unless they're a giant. Some people find them they're like a foot tall. I'd love to find one of those someday. Look, just as we get up. See? If you didn't know they were there. Some of the beauty out here doesn't even have to do with finding mushrooms, but just this mossy little patch and finding these violets, a downy yellow violet, and then some regular violets. <laughs> and these anemones have not opened up yet today, but it's nice. Look, look, I found a a nice sized one. I had to walk quite a ways, but um, the way the sun was catching it made it pop. But, see, that's, that's good size. Beautiful. See how much bigger it is than the few others I found? Much bigger. It's yellow too, those, this one's are kind of gray, this one's yellow. They're different, different kinds. I found a couple more under a big tree. Look, it's even got a crotch. Um, there we go. There's that one. And then over here, there's this one hiding out. Sometimes you gotta look around because they like to, uh, they like to hide. This one has a, a snail on it. So, a little added protein. Look at this hillside of just anemones. Isn't that beautiful? Like stars in the green. And then, look over here. What in Sam Hill? Some kind of bone. Uh-oh. The last guy who got lost looking for morels. It's scary. I said we'd come back to the sleeping anemones when they woke up. Here they are. Cute. So, that was a bit of a modest find today. I got eight, uh, <laughs> not very many, but I think we need a warm rain for the place where I go to really pop. So if we get that, it might be a lot more, but I'll take it, take as many as I can find. I'm gonna go home, make myself a uh, morel chicken pot pie from scratch. That's what I'm gonna do with these should be tasty.